Perez Hilton exclusive. Hey everybody, it's Perez, joined by Christina Perry, and I have to start by saying thank you again for performing at my birthday party. Thank you for having me. The gays loved it. I loved it. Oh, yes. It went over. You know, we the gays are in your corner. You're set. Right, that's what they say. <laughs> the gays are very loyal. Yeah. But I think your music appeals to more than just the gays. It appeals to a lot of people. And I, I've said this before, your, your first song, which most of us are familiar with, Dark Hearts, is such a success story because everything traditionally would tell you that that song's not going to be a hit. Right. And then it was. Dude, it broke every wall. It did? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's catch people up on how that happened. So, okay. How long ago did you move to LA, first of all? Um, I moved about four years ago. It was my 21st birthday. Um, I moved to LA with a guitar and a suitcase and one big fat dream. Did you go to college? Um, I did for a minute and hated it. And then I uh, <laughs> went to Italy and made olive oil and wine. And, uh, you did? Yeah, I was like soul searching. Or How just long was that? It was like wine. that you pray love or something. Yeah, way before it even came out. That was me at like 19. It was weird. Um, but it was fun. So and you just knew you always wanted to be a musician. Yeah, or I was kind of looking for my the right path. I was always kind of following other dudes on their paths or losing my own like focus. So, I mean, Italy wasn't really focused, but it helped me realize I wanted to be in America and that maybe I should do something else. And I tried a little bit of everything. And the last thing you were doing was being a waitress? Yeah. I did that all the way up until June 29th. And then this song that I wrote that my best friend happened to grow up with a choreographer on So You Think You Can Dance, and there was this email that went out like, hey, I need a you know really pretty sad song. And my friend was like, oh, how about this song? Which is totally not cool if it's just a demo, you know, but now it's fine. Oh. <laughs> I know her my firstborn child, I mean. Uh, so that happened, and then everything that's not supposed to happen happened, which is yes, 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 all the producers, yes, yes. And then I found out on a Friday, and it aired on that Wednesday. And who do you think you are? Running around leaving scars Collecting your jar of hearts Tearing love apart You're gonna catch a cold From the ice inside your soul So don't come back for me Don't come back at all So then after it was on that show, so you think you could dance, yeah. Was there like a big old bidding war to try sign you and that kind of yeah, thing? Yeah, it was pretty magical. It was like, like literally the very next morning I existed. Like I didn't exist and then I did. And then so my managers got, you know, all the phone calls and, and um, I kind of didn't know what to do. And they flew me to New York and I whined and dined and met everybody. <laughs> and I just loved Atlantic. I remember walking in. I loved everybody, but... Um, Specifically Atlantic Records like I walked in and I wanted to take my shoes off and that's like a gut feeling You know like I didn't think about it till later when I was making the decision and um, You know I just tried to pick a place that I felt homey and that was it So then I signed with them on the 22nd of July and, and then I Fairly haven't, quick? Yeah, I haven't really stopped yeah. So you've been making the album now uh, Who have you been working with? Um, I made the album in 33 days, in ja uh, January to the middle of February. Um, I recorded with Joe Ciccarelli, who okay. produced it. Super cool guy, like, you know, White Stripes and Regina Spector mm. and, or, and, um... Like know, them. Yeah, every, everybody he's done, even like Frank Zappa, like just a cool mix of people. And um, so we recorded the album, and I couldn't be more proud of it. It comes out on May 10th. Um, it's so authentic to, like, me and what, what I would imagine and there and was how did you approach it like is it was it this, this is what I want to tell the world right now or, or, or well, each song just kind of birthed itself I kind of yeah it was a little bit of both I feel like that was one of my favorite processes it was picking the songs because I've had I've been writing songs since I was 15 when I fell in love so, so a lot of these are kind of old songs you've yeah, had for a I've while I've got some from 2007 from 2003 one from 2000 eight one from this past summer so there's such a cool kind of timeline they're all about love but I mean I feel like maybe I went through all that for you know reason like it's kind of the theme but they're all about strength too which is why I call it the album love strong but I feel like it's a cool little roller coaster it's gonna take you on and and I mean I brought skeletons I write at the piano or the guitar and then to kind of mix with the minds of my band and producer and friends was like another really rad moment for me to make the songs 
you know, what they how they wanted to be. Like, I didn't throw in crazy stuff just because or to, like, make it You didn't it have the label saying, oh, you gotta do no, this. No, I they couldn't even believe involved. it. No, I no? mean, they trusted me. I mean, there was a point where they came in at the end where I was a little afraid because they had been so quiet that I was like, if they hate this, we're totally screwed. Like, we're, like, <laughs> done, you know? And they came in and they liked everything, which was really freaked me out because I didn't really feel as though I compromised. I, I knew where to raise the guitars, but I also knew when I wanted an accordion, like, that nobody would say anything. Like, they just kind of let me... I love accordions. Yeah, me too. Do you play accordion? No, my parents both do. Are your parents musicians? Well, they just play accordion. I don't know, well, that's a little strange. They're hairdressers that play accordion. Your parents are hairdressers <laughs> that play accordion. Yeah. Are they Polish or something? My mom is. My dad's from Italy, so he's got, mm. like, a little Italian music box. Uh, well, fabulous. Well, thank yeah. you. Thank you again for being here today and performing for everyone watching. Thank you for having me.